Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we talked about iOS 18 Developer Beta 2. There were a few quirks. There were a few issues. Nothing too major though. But as if like clockwork, that same day, Apple released Developer Beta 3. And it has some changes. So let's talk about that today. Probably the biggest change, personally for me, is they fixed the icons. So now, no longer do you get the weird checkerboard icons. I don't know what they were called. Those are gone. All the apps work now. You can see all of their icons. It's beautiful. It's glorious. I'm glad they fixed it because it was getting annoying. <laughs> Although it's annoying that they released that beta the same day I uploaded my video. So I don't know if they're trying to spite me or, you know, who knows what it could be. Also in the last video, I did not show you but these, if you hold here, these are the macaroni icons. So you can just drag those and change the size of your widgets. You can also move them around anywhere you want. It's very fancy. It's very good. All right. Also in this video, I want to talk about how to actually get into the beta. That's something that I haven't addressed yet. And I think there are some people out there who would like to join it. It should be said that there are a few inherent risks that you take when you join the beta. I use the beta on all of my main devices, which is very not recommended to anyone. The beta is inherently unstable. It has flaws. It doesn't work all the time and it can lead to major issues down the road. So proceed with your own caution. You know, you're taking your devices into your own hands, basically. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to your browser, any browser, you get to choose. That's the best part. Go to beta.apple.com and you'll see this coming soon. iOS 18, iPad OS 18, and Mac OS Sequoia, TV OS 18, HomePod Software 18, all the betas. Now, you're gonna have to sign up for a developer account. That's pretty easy pretty standard stuff. You just go through the steps. That's easy. If you want to get it on iOS 18, you can click on iOS 18 and then it tells you like what's coming. It's very nice. Goes through all that very easily. Once you've signed up for a beta account, you're going to want to go into your settings and eventually you will get a notification saying that you are eligible and ready to download whichever beta you signed up for. So for me, I have signed up for the developer beta, so I'm always on like the bleeding edge of the beta. But that's also the most dangerous one because things can break without warning. Um, I know people who got into boot loops, so they just couldn't use their device at all. And that's not something you want to find yourself in a situation with. Along with showing you how to get the beta, I'm also going to show you how to get rid of it. Now it's pretty simple. All you do is go to settings, go to general, go to software update, and then it's going to say beta updates, and you're just going to turn that off, and it's going to revert back to the normal, basically on the line sort of software. So iOS 17. There is also a public beta coming at some point. I don't know when that's gonna be, but it'll be interesting when that comes out and I'll definitely make a video about that. I think that about does it for this video. If you have anything that you guys wanna see in a video, let me know, I'll be happy to oblige. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.